Hello and welcome back, everyone, to Universe Sandbox, and today you may notice, wow, that is a very small sun, and you are correct, I have shrunk the sun down smaller than Earth. Now, it still has the same mass, which means this could actually get quite violent with the Earth being, well, this close. Um, but as you can see, it's one sun in mass, the radius is half of Earth, and the density is at... 800 grams per cubic centimeter so we have basically gotten the sun and compressed it down into this little little tiny ball um, and we will see how it affects the earth to be this close to the sun I'm, I'm really curious how it gets uh, ripped apart or not ripped apart I've never done something quite this extreme with the sun um, this is a uh... wow daytime really this is what flat earthers think right here just a sun floating over no I'm joking uh, let's go ahead and get a quick auto orbit on this um, and we're going to try to turn the time scale down really damn low because if we don't this is going to be really ridiculously fast the, the destruction of the earth so all right I think that should be good oh wow that was that was still very fast is it orbiting Looks like it is. So, we- this is- This is insane. The sun is not only super close to the Earth, it's just kind of... smaller than the Earth. Completely chilling and ignore- oh! Ah! Looks like the amount of heat the uh, sun is exerting on Earth is not minor, it's just... melting... Earth into plasma where the sun's hitting. Or is that the Earth being ripped apart? It's hard to tell. Oh, it looks like the Earth's being ripped apart from the inside. Alright. Very nice. Very kind of the sun. But it doesn't look like the Earth has been destroyed yet. Let's speed things up a little bit. Ooh. That's right. Earth may just be vaporized. Oh! It actually is at a 40,000 degrees! Oh boy, that is warm! Well, I guess it is, like, right next to the sun. Wow! 50,000 degrees. <laughs> this is very nice. Very nice indeed. It got over 100,000 degrees there for a second. Look at it! As it gets ripped apart, there's just little bits of Earth that are now floating around the sun. You got, like, this blue light from Earth and this orange light from the sun. Kind of, like, mixing. Having a little bit of a battle here. Seems like it'll actually take quite a bit of time for Earth to be completely destroyed through this process. I mean, it's uh, very broken. If you look at the gas being jettisoned off of Earth, it looks really... Yeah, look at that. Whee! It's being shot so far. So far, just because it's so close to the sun. Um, there's 8 billion shockwaves causing quite a bit of lag. The Earth is now over 100,000 degrees. It hits 200,000 degrees occasionally. Oh, I saw three. I mean, pretty relatable. Um, this cloud of material and debris around the sun is very warm and just looks like more stars, honestly, considering how bright they are. I mean, they are very close to the sun. This is kind of insane uh, how small the sun is here. We're going to make it a little bit smaller in a moment, but first I want to see Earth get completely ripped apart. We 0.4 Earths. 0.3 Earths. 0.2 Earths. Now we can re- look at all the material! Wow! That is kind of crazy looking, and it's all being... Look at the lines coming out from it, because they're all being vaporized as well. <laughs> the sun's got rings! And it looks quite odd, I won't lie. Alright, speed things up again. Does Earth even exist anymore? There's just like a big white cloud there. Is that Earth? Is that Earth? No. Is Earth gone? Is that Earth? There's Earth! Uh, actually it's about as small as some of the fragments 
It's, uh, wow, this is a very interesting looking pit of death. Um, the sun is just very effective at this range. And it's grinding everything into oblivion. Kind of like a storm. Oh, the dust. So bright as well. Oh, look at that. Where Earth is, there's just a little halo going around. Oh, that looks absolutely insane. I'm not gonna lie, this is maybe one of the best looking simulations I've done in Universe Sandbox. Just all the debris and stuff flying around the sun. It looks very dramatic. Okay, um, let's go ahead and get Jupiter. Oh my god! Jupiter compared to the sun here just looks absolutely insane. Oh, but the sun instantly is vaporizing part of Jupiter there. Not super surprising. The bits of gas that are pulled out of Jupiter are going to be bigger than the sun. The irony. <laughs> oh my god, look at it go. Everything's just being chucked into Jupiter and ripped out of Jupiter. Oh, look! There it is! Oh, those giant clouds of gas. This is gonna look like a galaxy by the time it's done. <laughs> Jupiter is actually only at like 2,000 degrees right now. Um, the sun is just kind of orbiting it and causing a legitimately worrying amount of damage. Oh, it hit 10,000 degrees, 30,000 degrees. It's kind of going a little bit insane. Uh, let's go ahead to the surf. Oh my god. Look at it go. Oh! Oh, the sun is growing! Oh! My god, it ate Jupiter. <laughs> wow. Jupiter ain't dead, but it's doing some sort of very interesting thing there. It. Wait. No. Is Jupiter inside of the sun right now? No, it finally got eaten. Um, wow! Look at the amount of damage that did to the sun. All the shockwaves all over the surface. Um, that was interesting. I don't really know what happened, but whatever it was, was certainly interesting. Um, Sun has regained most of its mass. How big has it grown? It really did grow there. Um, uh, it's still not at the size it was at before. Oh, maybe it is. Did it get back to normal sun? Oh, maybe it did. Maybe it reverted back. Did it just decide? Yeah, it's about a half of the sun's radius, so it got back a little bit at least. Um, let's go ahead and try making it smaller, <laughs> because that's necessary. All right, here is Earth. Let's grab the sun for comparison reasons. Yeah, pretty damn large. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and we are going to change the sun's radius while it locks the mass, and we will just make it really really small this time. Oh my god. Okay, that may have been a little bit excessive. Uh, what if the sun... Can we make the sun a meter across? Will the game let me? No. Oh, it's a black hole now. Would you look at that? Okay, can we bring it back to... Nope, now it's just a black hole. And that is how you destroy a lot of stuff. Careful, kids. Don't create black holes. <laughs> Those are dangerous. All right. Let's try this again. Go to the sun. Go to the radius and just shrink it. Okay. 10.9 kilometers. 10.9 kilometers. That's like... That's... That's smaller than Australia. <laughs> You're like, no, duh. Hey, you know, some people didn't know that. 
I'm very glad that I was able to help them out. Wow, that is really small. Um, look at the light when it gets close. The part of it that's daytime and isn't. I mean, it still lets out a little bit of light. Oh my god. That is, that is the sun. <laughs> that is the sun. Now if we zoom in... Whee! I It's hard to get a, an appreciation for the scale of this. Um, wow. That is a very small sun, and I think it's going to cause some major issues for Earth. Um, <laughs> Alright. Let's go ahead and... Oh wait, you don't auto-orbit that, it's got all the mass, we auto-orbit Earth. I'm sure this is going to have massive, massive repercussions. But, you know, if your life hasn't had massive, massive repercussions, have you really been living? No. The answer is no. Alright. Here we go. Earth is, uh, not looking terrible yet. Uh-oh. All the lights just turned off. Is that just a wave of death going across? Oh my god, it is. The surface temperature, no! Oh, it's at 300 degrees! We cooked! We cooked everyone on this side of the Earth. Oh my god, we can actually watch a wave of death pass over the surface. Turkey, no! Saudi Arabia, no! Oh my god. Oh, and now the Earth is actually being ripped apart. Oh my. The death continues to spread in a wave. How fast are we going? Oh, we're going at six hours a second? Oh wow, so this is actually pretty damn slow. Well, I mean, this is fast for exterminating all of humanity. Um, but this is, uh... If we went to real time, it would probably... Oh no, we're at 38 milliseconds per second. 6.2 hours is how much time is went by in total. Never mind, this is all happening in like the, the the time span of one second. No! The last survivors are in Korea. Oh, never mind. Russia? Oh damn, we got anyone else? Oh no, Putin got his way. Oh, wow. How dramatic. Well, one about as well as communism. Alright, so we've got the Earth, which is now much, much closer to the sun than last time, and is moving much, much faster around the Earth. Wow, look at it go! Oh, wait, it looks like the sun is orbiting the Earth, but it's actually the Earth orbiting the sun. Easy to forget. Wow. Earth is at precisely something degrees. We'll go ahead and get a graph up so that we can just see the the absolute spikes. Oh, what was that? That was uh only a little bit over a million degrees. So honestly, it's it's a little bit cold. Um we could do better. Oh, the earth is really starting to get ripped apart now. The game is really quite angry about this. It's like, what the heck? Oh my god, how hot was that? Uh... Wait a second, that's only... 300,000. Oh, did I read the other one wrong? Wait, no, that's 300,000. What? That is... Ah! 7.5 million degrees. Very nice. I was about to say, if it wasn't at least in like the millions, then what's the point? What is the point? But it was in the millions, so there was a point. Alright. I mean, at this point, we've basically created a new solar system. Look at all those beautiful planets orbiting the sun. <laughs> Comets, you know, all, all the things that plants crave. Okay. So, Earth is skedaddling, 
which is nice. Uh, the simulate. Oh, there it goes. Um, it says here. Oh my god, it really just exploded there. Uh, it says 0.1 Earth, so we're at about a tenth of Earth. The sun is definitely winning this battle over time. Um, yeah, Earth is almost non-existent now. Kind of depressing if you think about it, because Earth is kind of our planet, but, you know. The sun's our star, so we should be proud of it as well. Alright, the Earth no longer exists, and this is the extent of the solar system. It is... It is this. <laughs> this is what happened. I mean, it looks pretty cool. I won't lie. I would vacation here. Well, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Leave suggestions in the comments below. Peace.